Before we proceed with our conversion using one step, let us analyze this table again. First, in between kilo and centi, there should be your base unit. So there should be your base. When you say kilo, kilo means a thousand. Mega meaning six zeros, which is a million. And then giga, there should be nine zeros. Gazillion. And then we have the next one, which is our trillion. So there's 12 zeros. Here on the bottom part, centi, meaning there should be 100. We have milli, which is 1,000. Micro, which is a million. Nano, which is a billion. And then pico, which is a trillion. A trillion, not a trillion, a trillion. Okay. So something that we must remember about using these numbers. So if we start from the base, from the base going up. So from base going up, we must divide the base number by any of those numbers that we want to convert. Anything that is going to the bottom part, we should be dividing it. Okay, so we should be dividing it by these numbers, starting with the base. So let us start by, let's say, use this example. I want to convert 25 millimeter to, let's say, I want to convert this into meters. So our base unit is meters, grams, and seconds. So those are the base. But again, like what I mentioned earlier, we must be using kilograms as our base unit in terms of solving problems in physics one. So first thing that we should do, start with step number one, which is to copy down the unit for the given data, which is millimeters. Okay. Our next step is to draw the multiplication symbol and let's draw the bar. Then 25 millimeter, copy the unit or copy the given and then draw this bar and multiplication symbol. Now we want to cancel our millimeters. So every time we want to cancel, it should be the opposite section, meaning that 25 millimeter is not just 25 millimeter. It's basically 25 millimeter. Let me just use a different color pen. 25 millimeter divided by one. Okay. So if you don't see any divisor, if you don't see any denominator in your number, it's always divided by one. So now I want to cancel my millimeter. Will I put my millimeter at the bottom or at the top? For sure, I have to place my millimeter at the bottom because you need to place it at the opposite location of the bar. So my millimeter is on the top, so therefore I will put it at the bottom. I want to convert it to meter, so therefore I'm going to place my meter over here. Now, if I'm going to look at millimeter at my table, millimeter compared to a meter, our base is meter. And millimeter is at the bottom of the base. So meaning millimeter is smaller than meter. So therefore, for every one meter, so I want this one meter, there is an equivalent of 1,000 millimeter. So 1,000 millimeter, 25 divided by 1,000. So if you notice, we can cancel our millimeter and meters by itself. So 25 divided by 1,000, well, sure, we will get an answer that is equivalent to 0 0.025 meter. 
So for every 25 millimeter of measurement, you will get an answer that is equivalent to 0.25 meters.